Hello, uh, this is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm going to start a session on WizIQ Education Online. And it's going to start in a couple of seconds. While I'm waiting, I have tested my device settings, my microphone, audio, and video, and everything seems to be working fine. And that's it. Hello. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to today's session. If you could just add in the chat box, if you can hear me, my name is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm going to be uh, talking to you about uh, one of my favorite subjects, and that's this class, okay? Uh, the WizIQ virtual class. But I'm also going to be talking about how you can create a course on WizIQ. Great to see you in Dira and Patricia. Not sure which Patricia. So if you could add, Crystal, where you're from. If you don't have a last name, I have no way of knowing uh, which Patricia that is. So just write where you're from. It'll help the others uh, get a feel of the international atmosphere in these live uh, classes. So England, welcome back. Um, <laughs> I forgot your... Um, your first name, sorry about that, Argentina. Karina, yes, Karina, exactly. I need to see your face to remember it. So we've got Patricia from Brazil, welcome. Helena from Poland, welcome. Let's see, Francesca, or Francisca, sorry. Um, welcome. I don't remember where you're from, so you can add that for everybody. And Crystal is from Belgium, of course, yes. Okay, Laura, you're from Mexico, welcome. Okay, let's see if anyone else that is here. Okay, so it's a nice, intimate uh, group of uh, participants. And we'll get started. All right, before we do start, if you could, maybe I'll, I'll pass the mic on to you if you feel comfortable. If not, just add it in the chat box and let me know your interest in a few words um, in, hello, Remish, good to see you, in uh, creating courses on WizIQ. So um, feel free to add, we just started, Remish in the chat box or if you'd like to speak because it's easier I, I find it easier sometimes to speak in these sessions than to write in the chat when there's too much to say so raise your hand and I'll pass on the mic to you so you can speak and I think that for most of you hello Elias from Mexico uh, Francisca says I'll just chat. Want to integrate with IQ with Moodle? Excellent. Okay, I had a session on this, friend, uh, Siska. I'm not sure whether you viewed it, but you can get the uh, the recording on the Moodle Moot MMVC12 if you enrolled uh, for that. I, that's when I talked about uh, with IQ on Moodle, and you can practice for free on uh, integrating technology for active lifelong learning. If you're interested in that, uh, just email me. Okay, so um, for those who are, I think I have it right here. Oh, you know what? I happen to have a video of the session. I think it's this one uh, that I just um, downloaded to, uh, no, it's not that one. But I think I do. I think I have it on uh, WizIQ. Moodle Moot Conference, I'm not sure, but in any case, uh, let me get the uh, the link for you for the course, for the Moodle Moot course, uh, VC12 with IQ. Okay, by the way, the only way I get anything, I don't save anything on my computer system, I, I find that getting my uh, information organized just uh, makes things very, very complicated. So I just uh, depend on Moodle, on um, Google, Moodle, Google. And uh, that's how I get my information. So uh, there it is. Okay, I've added, if you're interested in getting the uh, content, 
sessions, the classes from the conference. There it is. Okay, and we're going to be talking a little bit about um, courses, conferences, and classes, and the differences between them because they're quite different. Okay, so in this session, please feel free to use the chat. You know, chat away, whether it's to me, to each other. Um, you know, I met a lot of friends. I'd say most of my online friends I met in chat boxes uh, during live online conferences, seminars, and so on. So if I speak too quickly, let me know anything. Okay, so use the chat box, have a good time. <laughs> That's what it's there for. All right, so we're going to be talking about how to create a course. We'll be talking about creating folders, how to add content, or about adding content to the courses. We'll talk about scheduling classes and adding the class to the course. We'll be talking about inviting participants to the classes that you've added to the course or courses. Share classes. This is really important because you want people to come to your class. Uh, so how do you share? And WizIQ does an excellent job for you, so you don't have to do too much work. And then sharing content, of course, because you want to share the content with your students. I just want to say that in the, uh, in the class, in this class, what you see in front of you on the whiteboard is the presentation, but its format is no longer a PowerPoint, Microsoft, okay, or whatever PowerPoint. Right now, it's an image, okay, so it's almost like a PDF. You can't, well, it's not like a PDF because a PDF, you can also uh, activate the links. So the links that are on here will not be available right now, but they will be available in the content, and that's where students can get all your links when they get the PowerPoint presentation with the active links. Now, let me just make sure that everybody knows what an active link is, and don't be shy about asking anything that you don't know, because there's no such thing as um, asking a bad question. <laughs> Every question is excellent. Okay, so um, let me know if you know what an active link is or hyperlink, okay, by giving me a thumbs up. Those who don't know, give me a thumbs down. Okay, that's fine. Um, you know, teachers love, and your teachers, I presume, love when uh, participants don't know <laughs> because it gives them a chance to uh, explain, and that's what uh, teaching is about. Actually, it's learning. It's about explaining, and we love it. Not only teachers, everybody loves to share and explain uh, something that they know to someone else. But in order to explain, we need you to ask. Okay, so we like people who ask questions. Okay, so I see uh, thumbs up, no thumbs down. So everybody knows what an active link is. Okay, all right. So that's what I'm going to be talking about. And I wanted to uh, stress, I don't know if you noticed that, the fact that we're talking about creating and sharing. That's what it's all about. It's about creating, sharing, and hopefully creating again. Okay, so I'm going to be um, sharing just let me know if you can hear it. Do you want, Do you to, want learn to learn without the hassle, hassle of traffic? Were you able to hear that? If yes, I'll continue. If not, um, you can't. Okay, perfect. Loud enough? Avalon high cost. Now you can. Now you can. Enroll, in Enroll in online, online courses on wizIQ.com. Before WizIQ, learners, learners were either restricted to their neighborhood teachers or, spent a, lot or spent a lot of time and money traveling. WizIQ changes all this. WizIQ provides you with a wide selection of courses created by experienced teachers. You avoid the hassle of traffic, rising fuel costs, and erratic schedules while still learning from the best teachers. 
What is WizIQ? WizIQ is one of the fastest growing global communities where millions of learners connect with educators from around the world. Learners like Muhammad, for instance. Muhammad lives in strife-torn Syria. He dreams of a life in the U.S. as a doctor. However, he is hampered by his poor English. His dreams look distant. And then, he found WizIQ. He enrolled in an English course from Cynthia and saw immediate improvement. He is now confident enough to prepare for an advanced All right, so I hear that uh, people are seeing a black screen. And I, um, hello, Halima. So let me uh, give you the link. Okay, or try again. I don't know why. Let me try again. Um, maybe something in the flash on my Mac. So let me know if you can see it. Do you want to learn without the hassle of travel and high cost? Enroll in now you can. Enroll in online courses on WizIQ.com. Before WizIQ, learners were either restricted to their neighborhood teachers or spent a lot of time and money traveling. WizIQ changes all this. WizIQ provides you with a wide selection of courses created by experienced teachers. You avoid the hassle of traffic, rising fuel costs, and erratic schedules while still learning from the best teachers. What is WizIQ? WizIQ is one of the fastest growing global communities where millions of learners connect with educators from around the world. Learners like Muhammad, for instance. Muhammad lives in strife torn Syria. He dreams of a life in the U.S. as a doctor. However, he is hampered by his poor English. His and dreams look distant. And then he found WizIQ. He, found WizIQ. From he enrolled in an English course from Cynthia and saw immediate he improvement. He is now confident enough to prepare for an advanced test like USMLE, again on WizIQ. No matter what you want to learn. Mobile app development, IAS, languages, SAT, GMAT, GRE. High school banking science, exams, cooking, high school music, science, you cooking, name music, YouTube you name it. You too can learn online and be successful. Find and enroll in a WizIQ online, Wiz online course now. All right, so that, that's an example of the kind of uh, sharing uh, that you can do uh, and that WizIQ will help you with. Okay, you'll be adding a video to your course, introducing it, and... Uh, so that's just an example of a uh, okay now of a video. If you uh, I added the PowerPoint presentation to the class. Uh, let me give you the class details so that you can uh, view it. The class link. Okay, if you go back to the class link now or later, it doesn't matter, you'll be able to uh, get the um, PowerPoint presentation where the YouTube vi video is active. The link is active. As I said, right now everything is not in the whiteboard, but it is, okay, in the content area. Yes. All right. Yes, this is the same thing. I just wanted to mention that it's hyperlinked. Okay, so why have an online class in your course? Why not just have a course, you know, say uh, that's simply with discussion, say a Moodle. Why not have Moodle or a lang uh, learning management system or course management system, say have a class on Ning or anywhere else you want, without the live online class. What does a live online class add? Okay, why well, have these kind of classes? Okay, there are many uses for the live online class. Interaction in the chat box, exactly questions and answers, it's synchronous, it's yes, okay? And it builds, it builds relationships. And as I said, I met some of my uh, closest friends <laughs> online. Closest, I mean, that we're connected. 
either online or we've met face to face, like Ludmilla Smirnova. I met Ludmilla at a Wiz IQ class like this, and we became best friends. We are, and we meet at least uh, two, three times a year um, to give at conferences. We uh, present together or give workshops. So yes, Helena, the connections become really, really strong, and the relationship that is built is very, very important. So these are relationship-based learning, you know, with your students, your colleagues. Okay, Helena too, <laughs> I wish I had met, but we will meet face-to-face -face very soon, I know. Indira as well that I've known for, I don't know how many years, I think for about five years, Indira. Okay, so these connections build and uh, they come from these virtual uh, classes. Okay, and then trust. How do we learn to trust people? You know, you need to communicate with people on an ongoing basis to feel a trust. And I don't know how you feel about online connections, but I find that it's easier for me. Oh, since 2009, not 2007. <laughs> I thought it was 2007, Indira, on, um, on Wiki Educator. I was facilitating... Uh, content courses on wiki educator so i think that's where we met for the first time but you probably um maybe you forgot that part of our connections on wiki educator but i haven't in any case uh trust is really important as helena says and it's easier to get to know people for me anyways it's easier for me to get people to know people if I write back and forth, if I work with them online, my communication with people online is so clear. I mean, I can size a person when I meet face to face, I'm never disappointed. And face to face, I get distracted, you know, um, it's, it's more difficult for me to really get to know a person face to face. It takes longer. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Indira. It takes a lot longer for me to get to know someone and to trust them face to face. And sometimes I never trust them. I always get disappointed. But online, it's so much easier. And then support. You can provide the support for your students, your colleagues, which is really important, and empower them, cheer them up. It's very hard to do this, uh, you know, online unless you have the face-to-face -face, uh, meeting and after all we are connecting for learning and learning is so much more fun when you can do it together so with IQ education online is a package okay you can create classes schedule and give a class like I'm doing right now I scheduled this class and now I'm so-called giving it it's real-time collaborative tools. So I don't know, I can give everybody the tools. Okay, let me do that. I'll give you the tools to give you a chance to see what I'm talking about, even though I can screen share. But I think it's better if you see exactly what I see. And I think that I can trust you by giving you tools and just having you look at them, okay? So on the left, now the tools have opened, okay? So you can see everything that's there. Okay, it's all there. So it's real time. Together, we can write in the chat at the same time. Oops, somebody moved. I was hoping nobody would move anything. Okay, so um, you can move later if you want to play around with it. If you're new to WizIQ, it's really exciting the first time. You just want to move everything. But you'll have a chance, I promise. And then there's the audio, of course, that we can share. I can give you audio. So let me do that. Let me give... Um, I hope everybody's uh, able to speak. Just say hello so we can hear you. Crystal? Uh, hello. Hello, how are you? Yep. Okay, great. Hi. And then I'm going to go down to Francisca. I'm just going down the list. Hello, Francisca. 
Hello. I don't know if I have a microphone. But you, we heard you. <laughs> and you'll hear yourself. Hello, Laura. So you can say anything you want. I love surprises. Okay, so I passed it on to Laura. We'll see what happens. So far, nothing. I think there's a problem with Laura's microphone. So I passed it on to Elias. Hello, Elias. Hello, yes. Okay, we heard Elias. Elias, you need to get a headset. I don't think you had a headset. So you need a headset. It's important if we want to talk collaboratively. I think that's Laura. Nope. Hello, Helena. Hello. How are you? Hello, I can see you gave me the... I'm just perfect. I'm enjoying so much the meetings online, and you know it. So, hello, everybody. I love the class. I love all the classes. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. So, you know what? These classes are empowering. If I don't give a class, I feel like I'm missing something. It's, it's so nice to get together with people from all over the world. If you're a social person, as I think Helena must be, I mean, that's why she loves these classes, because they do connect. Okay, Indira, I didn't hear your voice. Hello. I think... Hi, Lily. Hello, everyone. Hi, how are you? from India. How are you? Oh, I... Hello. Yeah. yeah, I'm fine, Nelly. Mm -hmm. But I miss all those uh, learning and training opportunities which you gave me since 2009. I enjoyed every moment working with you. <laughs> that was so nice. Thank you, Indira. I missed your voice. I also miss... You know, we miss each other because the connections are so strong because of, um, you know, the virtual classes. Okay, I pass it on to Patricia. I don't know if it's going to go through. And then I'm sharing audio with Karina. Hello, Karina. Just audio, no video. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Okay, there's Karina. And uh, I know her voice. And then Christina. Christina, are you from the UK? Because I'm not sure which Christina this is. And it's going round and round. And you need a headset if we have a lot of people at the same time. Okay, so a headset's really important. Passed on the mic to Halima. But it's just going round and round. Maybe um, there's a delay there, Ramesh. Hello, how are you? Okay, the mics are going uh, round and round. Ramesh, I think you got it. Hello. Uh, I, hello, Nelly and everyone, how are you? Okay, great, thank you. All right, so, whoops, Christina? Okay, I see Christina's having problems. You need a headset. She realized that it was making noise. Okay, Halima, you're the one that has the mic so far. Let's see if it goes through. And Patricia, I'm not sure whether it's going to go through, but if it does, we'll hear from you. Hello, Jeff, and welcome. All right, so the audio is shared, which is great. We can talk at the same time. And right now, WizIQ has an echo cancellation, so that means that we can all talk. At the same time, there's not a problem, but you need a headset. That's the only, uh, okay, maybe negative if people don't like headsets. Get a cheap one. You know, you don't need an expensive one. This is just from an iPhone. Live video, six people, but uh, WizIQ is working now on nine. I know they've had it nine. I've seen it <laughs> with nine videos. Okay, whiteboard, okay, and... Uh, for those who are interested, I'm going to put a whiteboard so you can play around with it. Say hello, uh, add a smiley. You all have tools except for, I think, Jeff. Ramesh has his hand up. Jeff that just came in. Hello, Jeff. I'm just giving you, um, just talking about, right now, about the whiteboard. 
Ramesh, do you want the uh, video audio? I see you had your hand up. Let me know. Okay, you can do freehand. You can use your electronic pen. Jeff, if you can write where you're from, and then you can maybe check and see where others are from. We've got, uh, I think we've got the whole world. Okay, Europe, we've got most of the uh, continents. Okay, but you don't need to go freehand. You've got text over there. If you see the A, that's text, and you can say hello. Whoops, somebody took my text. I guess they want to do it. I wonder if you can do it at the same time. I think with the text, maybe it's one at a time. I don't know. Whoops, yeah, I think it's one at a time with the text. Interesting. Okay, first time I tried that. Okay, so there's the text. No, we cannot. We can do it together, I think. I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, that's... Oh, I see who's writing, too. You can also see who's writing at the uh, left hand. See, they're always adding improvements, and that's what I like about WizIQ. They cater to teachers' needs, and teachers cater to students' needs, so it works really nicely. Okay, I'm going to take away your... Uh, Okay, your tools. I was, I was going to say I'm going to take away your toys. It is a toy, you know, um, for many of us. Okay, technology is a lot of fun. Oh, somebody, I see, is moving my slides. Okay, which is why I'm taking away uh, the tools. Okay, so I think I took away everybody's tool except for Patricia. Patricia, I can't take away your tool. <laughs> so if anything happens, we know it's Patricia. No, that's not nice. Okay, the reason I can't take away Patricia's tools because I try to give her um, audio, the mic, and something went wrong. Okay, so Halima, you've got your hand up. Do you want to say hello? Haven't heard your voice in a long time. Nope, still not working, Halima. But when it does, uh, feel free to uh, speak. Okay, it's so a live video whiteboard screen sharing that I'm going to do in a minute. You can upload content um, right here to class or to your library. You can add the content to your course, as I said before, and you can add the classes that you schedule to your courses. And this is really important, the difference between a course and a class. So what is a class and what is a course. Okay. Oh, thank you, Jeff. So you're Canadian too, from Nova Scotia. I wonder how the weather is. I know the air is so clean. So you had a good time, Crystal? Well, you get a chance to create these classes on the Moodle for free. Oh, it is beautiful, eh? Okay, good. Class, let's see, class is when we are teaching like this one. That's right, this is a virtual class. We'll talk about what we call it. And a course is when we add content to the site server. A uh, course is a little more than that. Um, okay, so here are some examples of courses that I created. Okay, some of them are uh, free. Okay, as you can see, and you can see the number of learners that joined. And some of them cost money. Okay. The free ones have a lot more people. <laughs> that's okay. We all like everything that's free. Okay, uh, these are courses, as you can see. And we'll see what a course has in a minute. Okay, here's some more courses. And here are courses that I joined. Okay, <clears throat> I joined the mobile learning MOOC, which is over. I think it was over yesterday. How many of you have taken classes uh, from the mobile learning MOOC? Give me a smiley or a thumbs up if you took classes. If you didn't take any of the classes, the live classes, uh, give me a thumbs down. Nothing appears, Ramesh? Hmm, what about the rest of you? Can you see the whiteboard? That's interesting. Yes. Oh, it's black, for, only for Ramesh. Wow, I wonder the reason for that. I want to check that. Okay, Ramesh, so send me an email, and I want to check why. 
Um, yeah, only Ramesh. I want to, okay, so Francesca, um, you didn't, but you can do it. It's also free. And there's this course starting on the 1st of September, which is in about two weeks. It's called Virtual Classroom Teaching Online with WizIQ Live Class. And I'm going to be giving this course. It belongs to my other account. I have two accounts, and I'll be talking about that. I have a premium free teacher's account where I created this course. And I also have an organization account, which is called Integrating Technology, which is where this came from. Okay, And also, I belong to the WizIQ Conversations, which is like a course, but it's not, really. Yes, I know I spoke with them this morning, Ramesh. Yes, Jay said that somebody contacted you and they upgrade. Yes, I just made them go faster. If anybody needs my help, <laughs> I have uh, a tendency to push things. I like um, teachers to get things quickly <laughs> because I like to get them quickly. And if it's free, I want it now. I don't want to wait. So if you need a free account, premium account, you can send me an email and I can help make things happen faster. Okay. <laughs> I do this. Yes, Alina. So, uh, yes, anything you need. Okay. So, um, as I said, I've been with WizIQ since 2007 and uh, they trust me. So, uh, if I ask for something, they usually um, get it for me. Okay, so this is a uh, free course. It's called Moodle Moot. Now, this was the conference, the live um, the conference, and the conference was actually a course. I, um, I think I added the uh, link. That's the link to the conference course. I turned the conference into a course, and this may interest you um, those of you who would like to um, have a conference, any anyone interested in um, having a conference, it could be paid. It doesn't have to be free. Okay, it could be a paid conference. Just because I make things free doesn't mean that you have to do it. Okay, so feel comfortable about um, creating a paid conference. Most conferences take money, so. Um, you know, it's almost like giving things for free, and it's almost um, <laughs> immoral. Okay, so you don't have to do it. In some cultures, it's considered bad luck. I hope not. So um, if you want to create a conference and you want to take money, that's fine. You create a course, and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so this is what a course looks like. Okay, there is the logo that I've added. Makes it look nice. And then people will see the uh, attendees, and then they click on Enroll Now. And then the highlights of the course, this is what you will add. I added Moodle for Instruction and Learning, Community of Learning, Presenters from Around the World, Presentations in Spanish and English, and Moodle for Business. Is this a question, Indira? In India, for conferences, we need to publish conference proceedings. You can do that, too. I did that for uh, COO12, uh, where we um, are publishing a book based on the uh, conference proceedings. So, yes, you can do that. You can, have, you can do anything you wish. <laughs> okay, it's available, and WizIQ makes it easy for you. So, yes, of course, and I'm always available. Uh, to help if you need my help. So yes, definitely. Okay, I see that uh, Jeff um, is not here. All right, so I it's a good idea to add a video to introduce your uh, course, uh, and you're going to write the course objective. The objective of my conference, a so-called course, um, is right here, and I also added a few links. You need to uh, to be able to know a little bit of HTML, but I can help you with that if you want to add active links like this. Okay, this is an active link. If you click on it, it takes you somewhere. And if you click on this blue link, it takes you somewhere. But that's very easy. I can teach you that in seconds. Teach you. I can show you how it's done. Okay, and then I added a uh, wiki. Actually, it's a uh, Slide speech, slide speech. 
Okay, I don't know if you've heard uh, John Graves uh, talk, but if you're interested in uh, slide speech, just Google it. So what you do is this, you get your PowerPoint. I think most of you were there. Ramesh was there. I know. Um, is um, Karina having problems? Karina, I didn't, I missed that. If you're having, uh, if there's a question there, I didn't see it. You did, oh, and Deer as well, right. So in the session, he showed us how t we can create, and which is what I did. <laughs> I did it for the uh, front page of, uh, so this is a speaking uh, slide, Computer Speaks, till yesterday. Oh, yesterday as well. That's great. Okay, and then after you write the course description, okay, here is the rest of the course description. You can add as much as you want. And then it'll ask you, uh, of course, the recordings of the event, who should enroll. So this, this is a conference, but actually it's a course. And then you write about yourself. It gives you a chance to write about yourself. Now, why is it, a, and testimonials, of course, why is it a good idea to turn a course, sorry, that's not the end. Why is it a good idea to turn a course, a conference into a course? Why turn a conference or anything into a course. Why turn it into a course? Any ideas? I gave you some hints. Let's see if uh, it makes sense to you. Okay, so the question is why join a conference as a course? Why create a course for a conference? No, Firefox is not very good. And so Chrome, I don't know, Chrome is pretty... Chrome gets funny too. I use Safari. I've given up on everything else. Okay, so Ramesh I see is getting kicked back and forth. Yeah, Firefox doesn't like Flash anymore for some reason. So the question is, why turn a conference into a course? What features does a course have that help that we need? Exactly, very good Indira. We get the content, <laughs> you're speaking in terms of Moodle, we get the content and the content is really, really important. It's always going to be there, plus the recordings of all the classes. They're all in one place. Okay, so it's very, very convenient. That too, Elias. That's right. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to screen share. Just let me know if it's black or if you, if you see. Okay, so um, I'll do it quickly so we can get some questions and practice. We're going to create a course together. Okay, that's my... Um, that's what I hope to do today with you. So uh, let me know. I'll tell you when. Now everything's going to go down to the bottom left-hand corner of the page, but that's okay. You can still keep on chatting. Just move it up. It's modular, so it could be anywhere. Okay, so now I'm, whoops, now I'm sharing. So now you should see everything a bit different. Let me know if you do and... Um, Tell me if you see things a bit different. Not yet? Okay. Because sometimes it works because I'm on a Mac and an Apple and sometimes it doesn't. So I want to make sure. Not yet. Okay, Ramesh, I hope you probably changed your... Um... Okay, tell me if you see. Okay, you tell me, then I'll come back to class. I'll wait a few seconds. I'll come back and tell me if you see uh, Wiz IQ Live class, which is today's class. Okay, tell me if you saw that. Oh, it's still... Okay, did you see it? Did you see that? Okay, I'm going to be going into that. Oh, you saw it? Very good. All right, so I'm going back. That means it's working. Okay. So, uh, okay, so here it is again. Ramesh may take a couple of seconds. Okay, this is the virtual, the WizIQ live class. Now, some people call it live class. Some people call it webinars. Some call it... Uh, uh, virtual classes. There are lots of names for it. Some call it synchronous, real-time classes, 
face-to-face -face online classes because we're facing each other even though we're not physically in the same place but we are sharing a physical space all right so this is the wiz iq live class i'm going to show you the different parts okay so first of all I'm going to go to the teach because I want to create a course. Okay, because I'm an organization, I have the admin that I showed in the video that's right here. Okay, I've added a video for you to see. So I'm going to go to my stuff to see what I have. Create a course. I go to teach. Okay, and then I've got two options. I can create a private course. This is where I can charge money if I want or make it free. And then I can turn the course into a public course. Right now, you can't do it on your own. WizIQ will do it for you. You need to apply. The reason you need to apply is because they want quality courses. They don't just want any course. So you're going to apply. You'll fill in the form, your name, your email, your country code, your phone number, when they can call you, and the course description. Or you can create the course, and then they'll be able to review the course and see if it suits. All right, so the course has to look good, and WizIQ provides you with a template. It's an inbuilt template. You write the title of the course, which I'll call test. Okay, I'll call it test 222. Two, two. Course subtitle, I'll call it test 4222. Two, two. Course objectives. Um, and here they show you what you can write here. In other words, they explain, for each of these, they explain, clearly communicate the benefit you'll deliver. They tell you exactly what to add. They give you an example. And it's an excellent example, so use it. And then for the course subtitle, they tell you exactly what you should add with examples. And then course objectives, they give you an example of how you should write it. And then subject, so I'll just write, uh, hello, no, I'll write, I won't be that. Test, I don't think this is enough, I think I have to write something, okay. And then exams, you don't need to add anything, okay, but they explain. And then language of instruction, this you need to add, that's English, okay. There's a suggestion, drop down, and then... Um, an image I can choose from the WizIQ library and get an image for my course. So what looks good? I like access. It's the first one. So I'll select access. There it is. But I can also choose from my system. Can anyone enroll? I don't have this ability because I can't make this public. Only WizIQ will make it public. And if you want them to go faster, send me an email and I'll push them. Okay, so I'm going to make it private mode online. I can also create a course that's blended, so I can say face-to-face, -face. type free or paid. Even though it's private, I can charge money, okay, up to uh, $1,000, okay. Enrollment, students can enroll for this course, okay. Or you can make it students cannot, you want them to pay, and you want to enroll them. That's another possibility. And then testimony, if you want to add testimonies about yourself, yes, no. And that's it. Okay, and then here, I didn't write anything, so I have to write something. Okay, so I will. I don't know how much they want me to write. So there, I've written something. I hope that's enough. Oh, they want me to write here too. Okay, so you have to write enough. Okay, here we go. I'm, I'm making a mess. You don't do this, okay? But I'm doing it. Okay, and then this is about myself. Okay, and then save. That's it. The course is ready. Okay, next stage. It says uh, show contact information. 
Um, yes, okay. So that's it. Save and continue. I can add my information, my phone number, and so on. Okay. And then I've created the course. Now the course will appear in my stuff. Here it is. There's the course. Test. Two, 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 two. I can go to the course. Okay, now once I'm ready with the course, I will publish it. I don't think I should publish it right now. Okay, but that's it. Now, I can add to the course. And let me take you to one of my courses and show you how it's done. So let's, let's take this course. This is what it will look like. Okay, so here is the courseware, which is the content. Course learners. Okay. And then about the course. Okay, this is about the course. Okay, and I can edit the information at any time. I can also delete the course. Let's go back to the courseware, which is the content. Here I can add classes. Okay, so let me add a class. Let's add um, this class. Okay, Tuesday. I'm going to add this class. I click. Look how easy it is. Click. And I add it. That's it. I can also remove classes. So I just added this class. Add to course. That easy. I create a class and I add it. I can also add tests. Add content. What content should I add? Let me add this content. Okay, there it is. Add content. I can also remove. Anything that I add, I can remove. Now, how do I create a class? I go to Add Class. Okay, click on Schedule a Class. Title. Okay, I can make it a recurring class. And these are my conferences or live online classes. And then I can select the presenter. Oops, and I have a list of presenters. Okay, I have many people in my organization. I can add them. But this is only if you have an organization. If you don't, it's just going to be you. Who can attend your class? Anyone? Or only specific people. And then you can charge again for your class. Charge. Okay, for people who did not join your course. So you can charge them money. Oops, it keeps jumping because it wants me to finish. Okay, up to $999 per class. For a course, it was $1,000. And then participants can attend your class and add this class to wherever you want to add it to, one of your courses. Here, it, I could add it to the Moodle Moot course. Now, I hope this wasn't too fast. Um, I created a video to show you how it's done. Let me go back and hopefully you saw everything. If you didn't, I apologize. So were you able to see uh, the video you embed? Yes. I embedded the video. That's why I say um, you may need help with the HTML if you want to add links. Not everybody has to add it. I like to add links and I like to add videos. But that's me. And I love HTML because I know how to do it. So, you know, usually we like what we know. So if you're interested, I can give you a very quick course for WizIQ, um, maybe next time, on how to add a um, very easy, how to add a link. Anybody know how to add a link? Anyone ever add a link um, in HTML? You don't have to do it these days, but um, if you want to, sometimes it's useful to know. And if you do it enough times, you remember it. So that's, I've been doing it for so long that um, I remember. So here it is. Here is one way of adding a hyperlink. Okay, let me check. All right, there it is. There's um, one way of hyperlinking a word and adding it. It's very easy. And if you want to know, all you have to do is you click on HTML. You go to Google. You don't have to memorize anything. You go to Google and you want HTML codes. They'll give you all the codes you need for free. Lots of examples, lots of codes. Here is one. 
And you can do all kinds of things with these codes if you want. So today, everything is free. Well, most things. Okay, so uh, there it is. Let's see, Rana says, I could see the screen sharing again. But again, now the screen whiteboard is black. Uh, because you can't, for some reason, you can't see the PowerPoint, Ramesh. I don't know why. Let me, um, since we're finished, let me go to, um, with the PowerPoint. Maybe a, a PDF would be better for you. I wonder. I wonder if I add a PDF, you would be able to see it better. And if so, you might take this into account with your students. You may want to, um, or your participants, you may want to add a PDF rather than a PowerPoint. So Ramesh, can you see it now? See why the, it's so important? You got it. Okay. So you see, I guess um, in some systems it's better, okay, it's better to, and you know what, you can convert any PPT to um, a PDF and you can do it on Google Docs and again for free. Okay, so you might want to do that. Let me make this larger. So are you able to see? What does it say, uh, Ramesh? I'm going to test you. Halina, you never know what I need it for, HTML. Well, sometimes if you want to add to a WizIQ and you want to you create a class and you want to add all kinds of stuff that I usually add, then you need to know it. But you know what? If you wait long enough, uh, we'll get them to have an editor. If there's an editor, you don't need to know HTML. But if there's no editor, a rich editor, uh, you may need it. Okay, excellent. All right, Rami. So you do see it. Perfect. Okay, great. So uh, this is something to think about that maybe it's better to upload content as PDF and not as PowerPoint. It's, okay, thank you, Ravis. You passed the test. <laughs> you passed 120. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. I'm so happy you could see it. I'm glad we found a solution. I don't know why you can't see uh, the PowerPoint, but um, I'm glad you can see the PDF. Okay. Any other questions okay, that you may have? Okay, this is your chance to ask questions. There's also the video that I shared on the, the class details. If you go to class to the class details, um, Halina and those who are interested in knowing what I added, if you go into the page, you know what, I can go into the page for you. Um, but if you go into the page, you'll see a lot of information, and I, um, they don't have the HTML uh, enriched editor. So, um, okay, bye, Francis. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining us. It was nice to see you. Next time, get a headset. Um, oh, you did get a headset, actually. I heard your voice. Um, so, hoping to. Um, have another class on this. Thank you, Jeff. So for those who want to see the details of the class, let me add the class here and you'll see they don't have a rich editor yet. So as you can see, I added, okay, the videos and uh, here, free premium account. And I think this is really important. You can now get a free account. At the end, it says academic. Okay, and that's the link that I added. To this page and how did I do it through HTML and if you want to see it if you go into my classes Helena just out of curiosity if I go into edit to edit my course mm -hmm. and class information okay you'll see this is where I add the code okay this is the code that I was telling you about okay and here is the embed video okay one and then embedding the other Okay, so uh, this is just something um, that I wanted to share with you. So you'll know that um, you can embed videos or anything else. And there's the free account. Laura's buying, just get something cheap, you know, for, 
for your iPhone. Do you have a headset for your iPhone? Use the same thing. Where is it? Here. Same thing as you use for your for your cell phone. It doesn't have to be anything expensive. Yes, of course you can create a quiz. Definitely, you can create a quiz and add it to your content. I suggest you create a course now. We've got about five minutes. But um, create a course, see what it's like, and um, enjoy, practice. All right, so I'd like to thank everybody um, for joining this class. It's a class. And um, start your course today. And you can always edit and edit and edit until you get, can you import questions to a question? Not yet, Indira. It's not uh, ready for that yet, but it will be very soon. WizIQ is developing an LMS and with my help, and hopefully it'll be um, there soon. And Halima, I see that you sent me another message. Maybe we can hear your voice before we go. And if you need help with a free, um, as I said at the beginning, with a free um, teacher's account, let me know and I'll do my best to make it go faster. Okay, no, we're not seeing it. All right, everybody, this is... Uh, do you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Hello, Halima. How are you? Hello. You know, I would like very much to post in a chat box, but... Uh, I wonder if do you not see that my chat box doesn't work properly. It is very close and I cannot uh, post something. Why? I do not know. You know I what? Know. I Halima, I asked WizIQ, I, I forwarded your question from Twitter to WizIQ to ask, maybe because you're adding it to me personally, you need to be in all. You have to send it to all, not to one person. In any case, send me an email, and I'll uh, ask them again to check and see why you're not able to use the uh, chat box. Okay, so please email me. There's my easy email, nellymuller.gmail.com. That's the easy one. I have a few others, but I think that's easy to remember, nellydeutsch at gmail.com. Okay, so email me. Yes, it is, dear, and that's why I'm using Moodle and not only with IQ, I combine the two. And by the way, now you can import into uh, Moodle 2.2, you can import um, what's called a, uh, a course into, so you can take the, uh, the Moodle course, the course that you have on WizIQ and bring it over to uh, your course as an activity. It's an activity on the Moodle. Okay, so thank you very much, everyone. Helena says they always give me the code that I don't know what to do with. So we'll have a class on the codes, Helena. Remind me if I forget. A class on simple HTML codes and how to use them. Excellent idea. So thank you, everyone. And Ramesh is not going to see this. Okay, but thank you for joining me. Bye for now.